All right. What's up, Benny? What's How are you on, doing, Brian? my What's man? Up? What's up? What's, What's going up? On? How's everybody doing? Uh, welcome back to Real Talk NYC, episode number eight. The lucky number, bro. Thank you the for lucky having number. me. But before we start, uh, give you a little details about Benny. I want to give a big shout out for where we're sitting at right now. This is uh, our new listing at 30 East 31st Street in Manhattan. Uh, we have the Unit 5A and the penthouse and uh, the 37th floor is in the 14th floor is in the 20th floor. So we have a couple of units still available here in this building. So this is a phenomenal building. It's beautiful. One of the nice, nicest skyscraper building condo in Manhattan right now. So that's a big shout out for that. But hey, man. Thanks for having we me. We got yeah. Benny here. Uh, give you a little insight of Benny. He's an entrepreneur. Uh, just got into the real estate game. And uh, he's That's right. been killing it right now. And we want to pick his brain, see how he got into real estate, and exactly how his journey from zero to millions. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So how you been, huh, Benny? I'm all right. Yeah. I mean, How's you know, the day going? my day is going good, man. It, Look at him. This, this guy, you know why? <laughs> I'm, I'm in my suit and tie today because every time I see this dude, He's he he's all looking fly. He's all the time. He he's he's repped in that's all right, the time. That's right. That's right. Right. You know, I feel like you gotta always be prepared. You never know if you're gonna be going to some event. So yeah, you know, it's good to look good, and that's what we do. See, agent out there, always look good. I know uh, a lot of people on social media and TikTok. They were doing that comparison, like, oh, you know, like like the agent that looking good, uh, they, they ain't selling shit, you know. <laughs> and then the agent yeah. that looking in there, they, you seen that, yeah, you know, like that. The, yeah, the yeah, t-shirt with yeah, like t-shirt, crumbs on his shirt. and <laughs> eating like crumbs all over, and and he's yeah. like, uh, oh, I made you a deal. That's only TikTok people. You have to understand that, okay? That's but the right. real deal is always looking professional because, like Benny said, you never know who you're going to land on on that day. And why you That's wear right. a suit? Because, of course, suit give you more. For me, suit is always like an armor. When I started in this real estate business, that's what kind of suit kind of give for you. Sure. It's like a, you're letting people know that, hey, you're here for business. You're not yes. joking around. That's right. And people actually do take you so serious on, on that. Do no. you get that? I get that. Of course, when I, I definitely feel that way because, you know, sometimes, I mean, like before, you know, putting this on back in the day, you know, I'll be in my like regular clothes, <laughs> streetwear, Supreme, you oh, know, all that stuff. Oh, yes, yes. You know, we, but that, you know, you attract a different type of crowd, you know, like you'll attract the youngsters and stuff like that mm -hmm. or whatever, the, the, the kids who like streetwear. Yeah. But now as we get into the real estate game, you know, you, you're meeting like a lot of people. You don't mm -hmm. know what type of people you're meeting. You never know if they're the ones that are going to help you close the deal. So you want right. to look as presentable as you can, you know, so to make them feel like they're confident in you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's just the way well, you got to do it. Well, the biggest battle for us in real estate is always that trust. Exactly. And confident, right? 100%. I, I definitely agree you with know, that. You know, you're right. selling multi-million dollar home. Yeah. I mean, in New York City, I don't know about elsewhere, but, you know, New York is always, I think the average right now is like a million dollars a home. Even, right? in, even in, like, the worst parts, I'm telling you, a million dollars for, like... <laughs> Yeah. The, the most rundown place, I'll tell you, like from my experience, uh -huh. I recently bought a home in, in 2022. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, it's still under construction, but, you know, we're almost getting there. Yeah, good, um, good. You know how construction is. But, Congratulations. You know, we bought the place for $1.1 million, and, God, we had no idea how bad it actually was until we started tearing down the, uh, the sheetrock oh. and looking at the foundation. God, we had we had to put so much money in there just to get it back up, you know. Yes, yes. But I'm telling you, in in Brooklyn, nowadays you well, can't buy anything for under a million that's decent. I'll tell you that. Yeah, for sure. That 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 is true. I I think all the surrounding New York City area is, yeah. is, is price wise has been as you see in the beginning of this year. I think is the activity right. is coming back a lot more, yes. right? With and the, and yep. and the, with the, the mortgage rate, yeah, with the, the, the interest, interest rate is now going down again. a little bit. Well, we get a lot more activity. Yeah, and know? and the federal rates they are announcing that they're gonna do a three cut. Yes. In in the rates. Yes. So that is gonna help the real estate yeah. market. So hopefully, you know, by sometime the end of this year, we'll see some more cuts, and you know, we're gonna get some more action. But that's another question I have for you. What do yeah. you think? Is this the right time to buy? Listen, any time is the right time to buy. <laughs> Real estate is always an investment. Let me tell you. Yeah. You know, like back in the day when we were younger, we didn't really know much about like real mm -hmm. estate, you know, but real estate is everywhere around us. Yeah. Um, you know, my parents worked really hard back in the day. 
um, with their business. Eventually, mm -hmm. we were able to come up with a, a three-family uh, mm -hmm. investment property, mm -hmm. and and then we finally bought our you know one-family home, and now I have a two-family home. Nice. So you know, real estate is always an investment that you can't go wrong with you know because the value of property will always go up so you know when people say oh are you in real estate or whatever i mean like you know you know some type of real estate because yeah. it's all around you all right yeah, yeah so. that's true real estate has always been the best investment it's just a. Uh People have to understand. I, I know a lot of people out there, they're afraid, right? And they always, uh, I have a guy, like a friend, he's always been like afraid of commitment. And that's mm -hmm. the biggest key, I mm -hmm. think, for them is like the commitment. They think it's like, it, it is a long term wise, right? Yes. It, it is a very long term, but it's very lucrative as well. But it, you have to hold it, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that, hey, I buy it and I'm going to sell it tomorrow and I'm going to make money out of mm -hmm. it. No, you, you actually buy it and then you hold it for long term for yourself, use it, make it as yours and make it as your home right and yes. then later on the appreciation will catch up yeah to the house itself think 100%. about it the guy that i know i mean 10 years ago he's still waiting now sadly if you're watching i'm, I'm sorry man you should have bought you know 10 years ago <laughs> you know what i'm saying but 10 years ago the price was totally different yeah. in new york and then now exactly. look every every time he asked me hey is it a good time to buy i mean five, i like yo 10 years ago yeah. it was a good time to buy Think about it now, right? Exactly. The house back in the days was only five hundred thousand for a single family home around the area in New York, mm -hmm. and then now look at it; it's like a million something for a single mm -hmm. family house, right? That is like kind of normality now. Exactly. So think about it. It's not you know when is a good time. It's I think down to it is that do you have the capability of doing it? Yes. Right? If you do, I think it's the best investment. If you have the money, if you have the, you know, that yeah. cash flow to be able to invest mm -hmm. in not even real estate, in anything, you know, mm -hmm. like Brian and I, we, we like, we like watches, all right? We're watch connoisseurs, all right? <laughs> oh, what you got? What you got? What you got? All right. Oh, let's, let's we, show that kid. Uh, oh, here, this is the Sky Dweller, right? We got a Daytona and here. And that's a Daytona. All right. So, <laughs> you know, even, yes, even, he's if, a, he's even if we're talking fanatic. about watches, let's say, for instance, right? Mm -hmm. Like... Some people can't buy these watches from, you know, a regular normal um, deal, AD, AD or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So people go into, uh, in, into the gray market, you know, back in the day, be like, oh, man, I want to get the, the Panda <laughs> Daytona or whatever, you know. And at that time, when it started to creep up in terms of like the, the secondary market pricing, yeah, um, you know, it was probably sitting at 20000 yeah. You know, you have people saying, oh, man, should I pull the trigger? I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> right. And then they wait. They keep waiting. And what happened? Now it's at 30000 Yeah. So. You just bite yourself in the ass because like it's the same thing with real estate mm -hmm. you know you see a property that's like let's say five hundred thousand back in the day mm -hmm. you don't pull the trigger what happened now it's a million dollars then you're biting yourself in the ass yeah. and you're like man i should have really really bought that property and invested so i mean I think that, that, that is a lot of people i mean the the fray of the what's the future is going to bring right but i feel like if you do your calculation you do your risk calculation like even like in watch right i mean the watch game lately uh has been slowed down for rolex uh you know tremendously too Right. It went up in, in, in the pandemic time. It, right. oof, man, it, it shoots crazy. that thing is crazy, Very right? Crazy. If you get a hand on any kind of Rolex, that yes. thing is like popping, right? You're yes. making like a couple grand easily. But to us, normal guy, we're not buying to sell it, right? We're buying mm. to actually enjoy it. Yes. So that's the differences. But it, it actually brings the value to your investment. That's I think that's where Benny is kind of getting is that, you know, uh, there's value yes. in in things that you do you know like for instance the rolex you buy it you enjoy it and it's still gonna give you that that value that you uh mm -hmm. you want it to get you're always you know? gonna retain it you know what i mean yeah like, retain it that, you know, retain retain that value and you know eventually if you know i mean if you sell or not whatever if you pass it down to your kids if you sell mm -hmm. even if you sell you still you're still making your money back if not more yeah so you gotta well see, i think uh, yeah. for me i think watches is gonna be like these kind of watches is gonna be passing down to the kids yes you know, for sure. I'm not going to, you know, uh, going out there, buy and resell it because that does, doesn't make sense to me. It, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, that's true. It, it's going to keep the value itself. That's all I want. But I think the enjoyment of having something that is going to be cherished over long term wise, I mm -hmm. think that's the best thing, too. I think so. 100 percent agree with that. <laughs> so let me ask you, uh, Benny. I mean, uh, getting to our real estate part. I mean, uh, how's your journey getting to real estate? My journey, honestly, is, is becoming yeah. a little more busy for me because mm -hmm. I'm slowly, you know, moving my focus into like getting more active, uh, become more active with clients and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, definitely in the beginning when I started, it was rough. I had, you know, no idea what I was doing. <laughs> um, the, you know, the good thing, though, was that my wife was a real estate agent. 
Um, oh, yeah. I actually worked with Brian uh, in uh, Momentum Real Estate. Thank you. And um, at that time, she was kind of active, but you know, I I felt I always told her, you know, I, listen. I feel like you could be doing so much more. Mm-hmm. There are things that you could be doing differently to get more leads. Yeah. Um, and this was just advice that I've seen from, you know, people, let's say, on YouTube or Instagram and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. And I tried to, to help her out. Mm-hmm. But, you know, at, at that time, I was like, you know what? Let me just do it myself. Because <laughs> let me show her. I was like, let me just do it. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. That's um, cool. You know, with my background in... Um, business you know, right business and stuff like that yeah. you know i i have a you know i'm pretty um, You're a successful acclimated, guy man yeah. acclimated in in uh, social media as well so i use that oh as, yes he got yeah. like over eleven thousand subscriber on instagram right now i think it's like 13 and change 13, 13 and change, change. now wow well, look so at that. actually my 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 big following my, my following came actually from when when like i said back then mm-hmm. i used to do a lot of streetwear stuff streetwear. i used to post so Supreme. I get a lot of following from that, but then eventually I transitioned my mm-hmm. um, content to, to more real estate. Mm-hmm. So that's that's when I started getting more like uh, real estate agents following me and stuff like Good. that. And different attraction. Each, each, you know, we would share each other's opinions about mm-hmm. stuff. You know, people nice, always contacted nice, me. Nice. Um, you know, actually with social media, you can get a lot of leads from that. So you know, don't be afraid if you're even if you're a new agent, if, even if you're not having a, a large following. Mm-hmm. Try to post every single week, you know, at least three posts a week. Yeah. Uh, even some video content. Nice. Video is so important nowadays. Oh, yeah. People don't really want to just see pictures because that is true. It gets boring. It's you boring. Know? Yeah. You know, people are so focused on videos. Yeah. Like, even me personally, mm-hmm. um, at night, I'll just be like scrolling, looking at videos, <laughs> real estate videos. Like, wow, this is nice, man. I'm guilty as the same. Exactly. Yeah. Is it, 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 get addicted. I mean, uh, yeah. honestly, uh, photo wise, yes, you can see only a certain aspect of the photo, mm-hmm. right? But video wise, you actually see the interaction. You feel immersed. You feel yes. like you're there. You know? Yeah. It's like, wow, this stuff is nice. So that's why TikTok and mm-hmm. all these uh, companies now, like Reels, right? Instagram has kind of like forced themselves have to have Reels now. Yeah. Right. And all these other platforms like uh, Snapchat and things, yes. you know, like even YouTube has shorts. Yes. All of them now kind of like in a way forced to go in there. Why? Because those are the it thing yeah. that people want. For sure. They sadly say like long term, like our podcast here, only serious people will sit and watch this thing over that period of time. But mm-hmm. the the real video that people are really watching is the 30 second video, 15 right, second right. video. Right. Like and you like have the to span make sure. Of it. Those thirty seconds. Oh, that's the hard like, part. That's where all the that's best the best content <laughs> has to be in there in order to attract you know those viewers. Oh yeah. So that's very important. But um, you know, going back to like my journey. Yeah. Like I was saying, um, mm-hmm. you know, in the beginning, I, I didn't really ha- know much of what I was doing, but mm-hmm. you know, I ha- I gained my experience from you know seeing people do it, and mm-hmm. I'm the type of person who kind of absorbs things very quickly. That's good. Um, I see see something once, I'll kind of like try to see how you do it and then mm-hmm. i'll memorize it and from there you know um that's how i kind of got into the game yeah i told brian i was like hey listen man when i get my license i'm coming for you that's exact those are the exact words i actually told him i'm coming for you i said <laughs> i saw you. brian yeah. such a uh, successful like real estate person oh, this guy's been in the game right. like thank eight, you was man. it 18 years now 15 15 sure. all right 15 yeah, years 15. i stopped counting after 10 yeah. so i know that brian has been taking his real estate um you know career uh <laughs> very very seriously for the past few years oh thank you man um i've known brian since i was time. actually very i was actually quite quite young you know i used yeah. to go to his family restaurant on yeah. avenue i used to be a bus boy you know? yeah shout out to fohoy <laughs> Right? You know, yes, but why? The best fall, oh. the best fall. You know, the spring rolls, oh, the summer rolls, you, everything. You know, the bumble yeah. way. You know, yeah. That, that's where you go. But yeah. I told Brian, um, you know, once I get my license, yeah. uh, you know, let's get me on board. Yeah, man. And I saw the stuff that he was doing. You know, with the luxury and mm-hmm. you know, not, not even luxury, like anything. You yeah. Know, all, all his real estate stuff. Oh, he was posting you, such great content, you know, and oh, stuff that like people can laugh about and relate. <laughs> all right. Um, Thank you. Thank yeah. You. So that kind of got me like very intrigued. Mm. So that's why I joined EXP Realty. He told me all about all the mm-hmm. benefits and stuff like that. And, mm. you know, I, I thank Brian every day for that, no, for getting you, me man. into this um new type of career mm. you know and ever since then you know we've been very busy and just taking it off yeah you know? yeah Listening of course to listing, thank you, know, you meeting new people going to events mm-hmm. um you know i love to network 
if you don't know me personally, <laughs> and if we meet, you'll know that I'm a very like personal, personable like yes. person, and I love to network. Yes, you know, he's a he's a people person. Yes. I would say that's why people, your clients, and everybody that that works for you, they yes. love what you do, right? They yeah. love uh, you know how to interact with you. You're always a, a pleaser, I would say, and yeah. a detail oriented guy. Look mm -hmm. at him, you know. You know, he's always flying over here. So, if any, uh, you know, if you're looking to sell or need a realtor in New York City, you got to reach out for this guy right here. I'm your but, guy. Yeah. Let me ask you, okay, so then uh, what area do you service uh, now? What your, you your know, favorite area? Currently, my focus is actually, you know, I live in Brooklyn. I, I was born and raised in South Brooklyn. Nice. So, that's my area of expertise. But, mm -hmm. you know, I've, you know, I've been doing some, um, you know, some, Bay Ridge, Bensonhurst, okay. uh, Sheepshead Bay, Homecrest. That's kind of my area. Mm, nice. Even like Midwood and I want to say Marine Park. Nice, so, uh, nice. I focus towards like the water area too. That's mm. kind of like my expertise. Okay. Um, those houses, you know, you have uh, such a wide range from like, um, you know, kind of like beat down houses to anywhere <laughs> from beat down houses to like, you know, luxury stuff to yeah. like in, in Manhattan Beach or whatever. Yeah. Um, you know, I love dealing with those kind of clients because Good. I can definitely relate to them because, yeah. um, you know, I usually tell them that, um, you know, the neighborhood uh, real estate agent around the area. I know the area so well, you know. You've been and born and raised and bred exactly, down there. Born and raised. So. I can tell you everything from the back of my hand about this neighborhood. Nice. And that, that adds a lot of value when you're approaching clients. That and is true. Yeah. Expertise. Exactly so they can trust you about you know mm -hmm. being able to to sell and market their their home nice yeah man, that's awesome but now we got to get benny over here in the manhattan as well in this yes. game and in, in, in the After luxury room being exposed by brian <laughs> over here you know we just got a tour of this place and i'm wow i'm speechless <laughs> like i thought yeah, he's got this building he spoiled me because <laughs> i thought i was you know going to one unit and you know i, I looked at it i was like wow 5a this 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 is nice. One bedroom, you know, 1.5 million. I'd buy this, right? <laughs> this guy brings me to the penthouse and I'm like, I have nothing to say. I really don't. It's like that. Well, and that's, that's something that we have to work towards, you know, yeah. as a goal mm -hmm. in life. Not even just, I mean, just anything, you know, like when you manifest, right. When you, I like that word, you know, manifest, yeah. you want manifesting, de you know? definitely have to manifest living in this $8 million penthouse. You got to imagine, you got to have the guts. I would say mm -hmm. in life, I feel like you got to have the guts to to go and do what it is that a lot of people tell you not to do. Mm -hmm. That's the exactly. funny thing, you know, go with your gut, your feelings. Sometimes yeah. that's the best way to go, because if you're always listening mm. to people all your life, I mean, if yeah. you're lucky, maybe your, your life might go a certain way and yeah. it might come out good. But if you take a mm -hmm. chance. You never know, you know, the capabilities and the, the opportunities yes. that you might have in the future. Especially in real estate, right? I feel like this real estate game, this real estate career, it is a very, you know, like high intense, uh, you know, feel. And it takes guts to step into it. Yeah. You know, getting the license, everything is one part, right? Right. Knowing the game and knowing, like mm -hmm. I said, the mentality of what it is and what you need to do in real estate is a different kind of thing. Yes. Right. That's why in real estate, you, you have to have the entrepreneurship like many, thank God, he, he understand that. That's why he's been a very successful agent right now because he understand how to kind of like manifest himself into becoming that agent. That mm -hmm. top producer agents mm -hmm. and how to motivate himself to do what he needs to do to get there. Not like some other people, like I said, you know, like always uh, waiting for things to happen. Mm -hmm. You have to be proactive. You have to be yeah. a go getter, you know, mm -hmm. like spend the time at night, man. I mean, if you have family, <laughs> I get it. I have a family, too. Yeah, everybody you know? have family. If the man. kids go to sleep, that's when you start working. You, you know, know I mean? the, the funny thing, I remember this too as well. Um, my 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 mentor uh, at that time when got me into real estate as well. A lot of people, will, honestly, they, they say to themselves like, oh, they will do certain things to get better. But none of them actually do it. Mm -hmm. But the one that actually really do it will get better. Mm -hmm. So me in a way, like you said, you know, at nighttime, I was, you know, YouTube is an amazing thing. You can watch everything and learn a lot of shit on there. You know, Damn if right. you really watch Damn and right. do it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, uh, learn whatever you want to learn, you could learn from YouTube. So I've been truthfully, like many said, every time that I'm brushing my teeth, going in certain things, even the toilet, I'd be watching some kind of video related to real estate. That's how, in a way, I got to where I got is I'm willing to accept 
that I need to learn and accept mm -hmm. that I really need to change yeah. my mentality. And, and when your wife is asking you what you're doing on the toilet for so long, for 30 minutes, <laughs> that's what we're actually doing, all right? Thinking about making money, you know? Exactly. <laughs> but yes, man. So nowadays, what kind of technologies and what kind of stuff that you use uh, for real estate? Let me tell you, I mean, ChatGPT has been a godsend for us. Listen. <laughs> You know, it's a scary you, shit, you, but. You, it's scary, but listen, you know, as agents, you know, sometimes you're burnt out. You can't yeah. think of like descriptions to write for these listings. So like yeah. when, when Brian told me about ChatGPT, I was like, <laughs> wow, this is insane because it's you more. basically just put in, you know, the like a short description, yeah. details of what the house is, like three bedroom, mm -hmm. two mm -hmm. bath, whatever, whatever, mm -hmm. like or in what neighborhood. And you tell ChatGPT, hey, can you, uh, you know, give me a... a a luxurious description of this like professionally as an agent and it'll just give you everything just copy paste you know it saves you so oh much time my God, so much time and so much work it's just amazing and i definitely i think chat uh, chat, chat gpt, GPT has one. been really good to us mm -hmm. um N not even chat gpt there's like other ai stuff that mm -hmm. that's been helping us oh ai yeah. now i think is embedded to a lot of businesses everything yeah. i think now has ai yes ai is the the future now mm -hmm. i mean it's not even the future it's the present now too as well right. so if you're not using ai i think uh there's something that you need to learn and start implement that into your business because 100%. uh you're 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 kind of like losing out yeah, for the future game. For for these uh, new agents too, like you know, Chat mm -hmm. GPT. Um, they can write down the whole plan for you. You can ask them anything. It's like <laughs> if you have, if you're a new agent who's <laughs> never like done a co-op deal, you'd be like, "Hey, Chat GPT, you know what is the process of oh uh, my God, you I know closing a deal on a on a co-op?" It'll basically yeah. break every single thing down and tell you what you need to know, so you're prepared as an agent and you don't <sighs> look foolish to your client yeah so i mean so that yeah i mean they, they do amazing thing i have to say yes now it's not just jet tbt but there's other ai as well google coming out mm. i heard that uh the uh another guy that is from a, a chip company is i think is a no a nano or, or something like that they they, they created a, another ai that okay. is gonna be crazy as well so everybody's competing with this ai game yeah but uh it is uh started out with jet gpt wow, right jet yeah. gpt was the kind of like the pioneer of that yes. all that ai stuff like asking and everything yeah. but what we've seen from the beginning age of jet gpts and now oh my god what a difference mm -hmm. is it is it, it has before, been it really has it, been. it has changed dramatically i think over just of a year not even yeah. like a few years but just in a year that thing has become like, like, yeah, in a way, a godsend, like you said. Yeah. It's been very helpful for even like agents who, um, let's say, English is not there. First the language. main, yeah, you know, they, you know, as long as you put it in the description, they can just give you oh, a man. whole whole like, writing of it. nice like dissertation of like. I would say, yeah. read it over. You need to read it over and make it into your own whatever you want. Yeah. But they do give you like the standard way of how to kind of write that. So it helps agent on this part to write the description so much faster. Mm -hmm. But one thing with JetGPT, like you said, they would com they can map out the whole step of becoming a real estate agent. Yes. That's how crazy that thing is. Yeah. Right? They could actually schedule like a day-to-day, -day, if you don't know your schedule, if you want a nine-to-five job in real estate, go talk to JetGPT. Exactly. <laughs> or if you want to plan a trip somewhere, you know, they can help you out with that too. Oh, yeah. They could do yeah. so much thing. That's that's the mind blow. Yeah. So what other tech that you but, use? You know, besides AI, uh, like Ch yeah. ChatGPT and AI, like, you know, there's so many things that mm -hmm. we use day to day as agents yeah. that help us uh, mm -hmm. do our job. Like, for instance, what we're being recorded on now, this um, DJI Pocket 3. <laughs> This thing no, is amazing. Yo, man, he's like sponsoring everything over here. <laughs> I'm yeah. not getting paid, I swear. We're not getting paid. I'm not no, getting but, paid, but, but this thing, when Brian first showed me DJI Pocket 2, I was like, yo, this thing is so cool, man. <laughs> but I was like, you know what? Let me hold off and wait for the 3, because we didn't know what the 3 was going to be yeah, like. Right? It, was a, it took a while for them to come out with yes, the 3. Yes, and I was waiting, waiting, and then when Brian was like, yo, it's out, I'm like, yo, I'm buying. <laughs> it was like $600 and change, whatever. Yeah, but but it, it's so helpful with you know creating beautiful Content. videos yeah video. because they have a gimbal on it and yeah. everything looks so smooth and mm -hmm. professional you know you don't really even need to you know if you're trying to do a quick video on the go like now you know our secret Sean, exactly you know our secret now <laughs> but it's okay because we're, we're sharing our knowledge that's right you know yeah. so we can help other agents as to well grow. you know you know that's what we are you know our team that's what we do you know we're not about like 
Yeah, uh, hiding keep, secret. Hiding secrets. You know, we, we love yeah. to work with other people. We love to share our knowledge. And that's what gets us ahead in the game, you know? Mm -hmm. and when people can see that you are willing to share, they'll be able to actually work with you because they're like, wow, these guys are really something, you know? They're, they're like willing to, yeah. to share their knowledge, mm -hmm. you know, express their opinions about real estate. That's right. And that's, you know, it's a good thing. It really it is. is. Well, the thing is, even all the people that's watching this, even all the stuff that we're giving out, I think only like maybe 10% of you guys are actually going to do what you need to do to do what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, that's all we need to as well. <laughs> the other one, I mean, 90% sadly say, yes, you're watching it, but you're still going to be like sitting in your toilet and waiting for certain things to happen. But mm -hmm. you got to get yourself out there. You got to do it. No. Even all these stuff that we're trying to help, you know, to make it better. I think uh, in a way, my goal, my journey on this thing is kind of like want to make this real estate uh, career and realm to be a little bit more professional because I think a lot of people picture us is, is like a, a feel, a gimmicky feel in mm -hmm. real estate agent. Mm -hmm. When you hear a real estate agent, people are like, oh, you know, like th this is another sales guy or something oh, like man, that. Oh man, he's trying to call me. Yeah, yeah, house. you know, like. Uh, he's gonna try to get my listing or whatever. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of work, you know, that oh my God. that we put into, you know, it, it's not all about the suits. It's not all about, you know, going and knocking on your door, trying to because all these you know, TV commercials, you or whatever. Yeah, there's so much to it. You know, people don't mm -hmm. realize, you know, they think that they're paying you to just to uh, but you're really not because we're forking up money ourselves, our yes. money, our time um, our to, effort to, to do it. everything, you yes. know, just to help get that property sold. Mm -hmm. And they don't see all the hard work behind it. Yeah, you know, and that's that, unfortunate, but that, that's, that's why we want is. to be able to showcase that right here. That this, that's that's why this is called real talk. Yeah, it was really gonna you know put it out there no matter yeah. what it is and try to improve the agent feel and the agents uh, in real estate to be better too as well to service mm -hmm. their clients a lot better and to do things a lot more professionally done exactly right. So like this uh, DJI, if you guys are an agent, you want to invest in yourself, yes, get this camera. Look at this. We're using this for podcasts. We're using this for even like video shoots uh, for like um, like property tours and mm -hmm. things like that. You could use it for vlogging. I mean, this is the right. best thing. I've been using this uh, for my YouTube channel for now ever. Right. I would say oh, it's the main camera. I do have all those other fancy camera, but mm -hmm. this one is so convenient, so small, exactly. so nice. And uh, yeah, I've been using that for for like yeah ever. <laughs> exactly. I mean, going back to the the you know the talk about um, the agents and what we do. I mean, like mm -hmm. also it's very important like what kind of agents you choose because you mm -hmm. have to see like Brian. What can Brian bring to the table that let's say uh, X or Y can't? Yeah. You know, you can you can get sure you can get a one percent agent, no problem. You know, you saw but, you saw you saw the TikTok exactly, guy, I, the I Indian guy. You know, it's like they're like, oh yeah. You know, I'm a two point five. I'm a one percent agent. You yeah. know, they'll they'll post for like a, a sign that they wrote for sale, like that they wrote outside. You know, you want nice <laughs> on a cardboard. Exactly. You know, yeah. You're a one percent agent. Yeah. Um. You know, why are you taking you know, you're taking videos with your <laughs> iPhone? You know. <laughs> That's what separates you know yeah, some agents from others because mm -hmm. you know you get what you pay for, and I mean not that you're paying for like upfront, but um the job comes, exactly the quality the, job, the quality you know you know it, it is an agent and a lot of people don't get i mean even sellers are sometimes right they always looking at the the commission a lot yes. of them right they always asking oh what's your commission commission but at the end of the day it, truthfully it's not about the commission mm -hmm. it's how much they want to pocket yes right yes it, it, how much they want to pocket in their 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 sales as well it's not just you paying the commission because honestly the commission you don't get paid until you actually get the job done exactly and if they don't pocket the number that they want you think they're going to sell it mm -hmm. you understand what i'm saying if it doesn't make sense to them as well right you think they're going to sell it they're not going to sell it then you're just going to waste your time so it's not really honestly it's not about the commission guys yeah right it's about actually the person who it is mm -hmm. that you're working for they are the one that you need to find out you, what you is have the to story. make sure that your agent is knowledgeable because mm -hmm. If let's say there's a seller who wants to list their property, you can give them a skyball number. Yeah. Like let's say the the property is only really worth 1.5, but you're telling them oh, I can get million. it sold for two million, <laughs> two point five. They're gonna be like, wow, really? Yeah, yeah. And you know, 
And when you list it for 2.5, it's sitting on the market for a year. And and how's that look on you? Yeah. You look like a dumbass. Yeah, you really that's right. do. That's why nowadays, uh, you know, I, I don't take like over asking price too much. Uh, it, it just doesn't make sense mm -hmm. because my time is very value on this part. I, I would say I, I would take those listings as a competitive price. Mm-hmm you know what it is and um, do what it is necessary to get the job done because back in the days yes i feel like five years ago or yeah recently three years ago mm -hmm. uh it is a seller market yeah so whatever you put out there you get an over asking price yes. right so people are so accustomed to that but then nowadays nowadays i like it now there's so many things that you need to do more professionally nowadays exactly and those guys that I know, like back in the days, hey, uh, you know, the commission, oh, 2%, 2.5, I do it for 1%. Those guys are gone, sadly to say, but mm -hmm. I seen them dropping out like flies, right? Yes. That's because true. they don't understand how the process, they just, like, like many say, you, if you watch that TikTok, you know, they, they just take their phone, take cameras, and they put it on the MLS and they call that a day. And Some they of these would. listings don't even have pictures, <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> Yeah, they don't. they don't. I mean, that's the that's the weird thing. I mean, I would say if you're a seller or if you're somebody out there thinking about selling right now, you really need to interview your agent, right? You really got to so, ask them. It's so like, important to do yeah, that. Yeah, so important. Like, you got to really ask them, what, see what their work is. Sadly to say, even a new guy, for instance, uh, not even, you know, have experience or something, they can produce so much better content than those experienced guys back in the days. Mm hmm because those guys don't even know how to use the technology. Eventually, they're just going to be, like you said. Absolute. Be, you call it? Exactly. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, people are going to be gravitating towards agents who can produce content and get more viewers. And yeah. Traction because that's where the sales is at. Yes. Because end of the day is what? They want to sell their property in the matter of how fast and quality that you put out. Right? That's right. So, so if you can't do that, sadly, say a lot of agents still can't do that. Uh, they will lose. They will fail. And I hope you're watching this, these, one of these agents. Uh, you guys should improve your game. Mm -hmm. We're not naming names. I, I know who, but I'm not going to say who, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, there's a lot out there. It's just not just a sum. But and a lot of them is, is dropping out. I've seen a lot of agents quitting real estate right now, too, as well, because they can't catch up with the technologies. They can't catch up with how it is. Uh, the game now because it's not that simple as before you just put it on the MLS and you call that day that's, that's not happening it anymore. used to work it used to work back in the days yes you put anything out that shit's so yeah you know what I'm saying but nowadays it's not like that anymore you've really got to put in your work you got to really put in your your time and effort and how to market your property out properly and price wise as well is very important critical right now yeah you know to get the, the job done That's if right. not uh yeah you, you're not going to be the the it agent <laughs> for sure i mean everything that brian said was was 100 percent correct yeah um and you just got to do your your research on these uh these agents like brian or myself <laughs> right um i think the simple question is actually just tell them like hey you got a tiktok or uh you got a oh, ig yeah. look at look at see if they have any social media content, <laughs> social media content. If they have a pretty decent following you know they're doing something right you know <laughs> That's right. Or, like even they have small following because if that following like engage in their stuff it's still good yeah even you have a couple hundred following but you're still putting out good quality that's still a hundred uh, yeah several hundred people that's there. right right yeah that's still so end of the day is if you're a seller or so interview your agent ask them one simple question do you have a social media platform mm -hmm. and then you can actually check them out as well right, right. and see how actually how they do because that's that's where their i would say their resume now yeah and, it, and an advice actually for uh, for these for for you guys uh, as agents, mm -hmm. it's also very important not just for the seller to interview us, but yes. for mm -hmm. us to do it vice versa. Mm -hmm. Because you have to know that you your you know everything aligns in terms of your terms mm -hmm. and what you agree on. Because if your seller or your client is asking for ridiculous things, then it, it might not work out. You know, it might not. You know, we don't, we don't have to take every single deal, you know. Yeah. Because if it's a client who is just, you know, not really with it when you're telling them these things, sometimes mm -hmm. it's not worth it to, to yeah. even list with them. Because Cause you're wasting our, your time. Our money is very valuable. Yeah. I'm sorry. Our money, time, time is very is, valuable. Uh, yeah. Right. Now, now, now what I see is true. Our time is, is, is actually very valuable because that's where we actually create business, right? Yeah. We don't get paid like other people, mm -hmm. like nine to five job. We have right? to fork out yeah. our, our efforts first our effort before first. we can get some kind of uh, that's right. 
Retire. We always have to ditch out first. Honestly, yes. we ditch out first, like our our money, our investment, mm-hmm. like getting the listings and stuff like that. We pay all these things up front, mm-hmm. and then the only time you get paid is actually at the closing time, and that thing could take like at least you know three or six months yeah. for you to actually get That's the return true. on your investment as That's well. That's true. So you know, it's so, always you know we're always waiting. So if we're doing one deal, you know we don't want to waste our time yeah. with someone that might not even sign with us or mm-hmm. you know or whatever so we got to keep moving on to the next because everything is a waiting thing game with uh, what they just came out right now with the nra settlement right yeah 418 million dollar settlement you heard that yeah i heard about that oh my god crazy yeah it's crazy how and do you it, how do you think it's gonna affect the uh you know how us agents are you know i would say it's not gonna affect like tremendously it's going to affect somewhat. It's going to change the language of real estate mm-hmm. in the long term wise. Now you have to become clarified as a buyer agent right. in a way. Yeah. It's very differentiated. Back then, you know, you can negotiate with the listing. It's always been, the, the crazy thing is it's always been negotiable. Right. Right. Yeah. Everything is negotiable. Commission doesn't mean that, hey, it's set in stone that you have to pay a certain amount of percent all the time. That is the set in stone. No, it's not. It's always negotiable. negotiable it's always been negotiable. Right. Yeah. And the clarity has always been there as well. I mean, that we, that's why we have disclosure, right? Buy agents, seller mm-hmm. agents, things like that on the form already. But now the only thing is the game is changing is the language itself that enforcing it to mm-hmm. to actually really say it to the your clients as well. Like you who gotta, you really you represent. You have to like, you know, as a seller's agent, you still have to be strategic in mm-hmm. the, the way you're listing it. Because for instance, if it's a property that you know is maybe a little difficult to sell it, you're still going to want to offer the buyer's agent some kind of commission. That is correct. Because, you know, sometimes you really can't do it yourself. I mean, if you don't have the resources yeah. and the ammunition. Like it might be hard. I think in you real estate, need, yeah. in real estate form, there's always been buyer agent and seller agent all the time yeah right it's never been it's sometimes yes there's there's been like one side yeah. you know like but it's always been there's buyer agent and seller agent all the time and this is not like something like it's new right mm-hmm. it's not something new it's just like people now feel that you know on the other side with the nra selling that that settlement that they did is that because the agent whoever it is didn't really clarify the the part of the buyer agents mm-hmm. and seller agent yeah. to the seller that's why they get in that part but honestly that's what I'm saying. If you're a professional, you would have been able to explain that to the seller yeah. or to your clients, the buyer or so. But I think because of this settlement, it's going to make value to real estate professional. Mm-hmm. It will bring a lot more value to it. Yeah. And and now you actually, buy agent would actually charge buyers. Yeah. You know, before buyers always kind of like utilizing these agents mm-hmm. to do free stuff. For yeah. them, but now if you're gonna go out there shopping for home, right. now you actually have to look for buy agents, yep. right? And agents are actually gonna commit to you. I think that is a good thing too, as well, mm-hmm. right? It, it brings some clarity exactly to who it is. So for agents out there, I would say now you need to start practicing how to pitch that, how to say that to the clients, and and have them to understand why they you are working for them yeah and it's important because it's important especially for like uh, new home buyers i think you know when it's you very don't, important. when you don't know the game you don't know how to you know put an offer or do all these things like that's why you need someone who's professional like brian you know <laughs> and <laughs> who, benny yeah who, who knows what they're doing yeah. and can get you the job done you know like uh, yeah to get the things that that is really required to be done you know so i think now it is it's gonna like I said, it's going to cut out a lot of those gimmicky, I would say, agents yeah. in this field. So for me, I, I would say that's a good, great opportunity for me. <laughs> you know, the for pie us, get a know, little bit, for, yeah. uh, the pie got a little bit smaller, I would yeah. say. You know, I mean, bigger, but I mean, like the people in there is getting a little bit smaller. Exactly. So the pie now is, is a lot bigger for whoever is agent out there that understand that concept. They would win the game. Yes. So you got to pick this thing up quickly. Understand the language more faster and then you will be on top i think this is a great opportunity right now yeah you know a great opportunity to improve your game improve how do you talk and the language that you talk to your clients now Mm -hmm. and now it brings a lot of value to those buy agents Mm -hmm. you know because now hey at least they they really know what they're getting paid right yeah and i also i think it's very important what what kind of brokers you're in you know like uh, you know what we're in exp and i feel like they bring so much knowledge to the agents that, you know, we're always updated yeah. on things. And, you know, that separates 
us from other brokerages who don't really give you that guidance. Mm -hmm. um, so, well, that's very important yeah. in any kind of field. So I think you guys need to, yeah, look into it and talk to your broker, talk to your companies. They should inform you on how to do it. EXP already come out and release out so many, you know, new new languages and new yeah, and deals. Yes, and information yeah. for you to understand how how to work this future of real estate because this is going to be implemented in I would say the the earliest is in July. Mm -hmm. So you better start learning this thing. Yeah, quick. exactly. Yeah, but uh, man, Randy, you got anything else you want to share with with the audience right now? Like, I mean. Uh, what other, I would say, what other uh, lease source that you really like to focus on or, or your top three that you're focusing on, like lease source wise for agents that um, want to get into the You game? know, things that have really worked for me, like I said in the beginning, mm -hmm. social media, uh, Instagram has mm -hmm. worked for me. Okay. I've gotten people who DM me and ask good, me good, about, good. Um, you know, uh, looking for property or even other agents who are in different states mm -hmm. who are saying, who are asking me a co broker with them and list. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. listen to them, get them um, some buyers. Yeah. Um, you know, I've gotten requests for multi million dollar mansions and stuff Ooh. like that, even in the Midwest. You know, you'd nice. be surprised. Yeah. Uh, another thing that works for me is, you know, with EXP, we have this platform called KV Core. Mm. And this thing is amazing because there are some brokerages that don't offer that to you, and you have to pay $500 out of pocket for that. Oh, with yeah. EXP, it's included in yeah. our package. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we use that to okay. look for all these nice listings and we can actually legally post uh these properties and on the website on your the website, website. Our, your personal website and yeah. on facebook you know um definitely use facebook mm -hmm. because you'd be surprised actually i think i think facebook gets more traction than instagram for some reason facebook is yes yeah uh, facebook in a way now is changing the game is not just in your inner circle now yeah. they actually release the content out to the public right, right? like yes. public can yes. be on yes. there as well yeah before facebook was mostly conservative to like people inside your circle yes. you know if they don't they can't see your yeah. stuff because of real because exactly. now real is out there so mm -hmm. they can now can see people are in public yeah. people like, are sharing it yeah people sharing like it is a lot easier even yeah facebook so, but i mean all the social media platform now right. is is like Hey, yeah. you make one content, yeah. you can share it to all those yeah. platforms. So I, I would say utilize as many mm -hmm. platforms that you can. Yeah, on but, this part. but like I said, KV Core is good. KV uh, Core. You know, well, a lot of people, they, yeah. you don't know what KV Core is. Just give you a little insight what KV Core. KV Core is a CRN system. CRN is where you put your all your data, your clientele, and things like that inside that that system that, that it built. And it's a website built uh, database system yeah. for you as an agent to utilize to keep track, for instance, your clients and, and whoever it is that you come across is, I would say, one of the best uh, CRM right now. And yeah. if you want an outside agent, if you're an outside agent and want to utilize that KV score, they have it too. But yes, it's very expensive to, yeah. to get. But as an EXP, you pay 85 bucks and you get your website and you get everything that link inside the KV core and that KV core. Yeah. is it, phenomenal. I've, I've it, gotten it, actually leads from there. Um, yeah. I mean, I, that's what it's meant posted, to do. I posted, uh, I posted Bayview court courtyard mm -hmm. and you know, somebody, um, DM. a friend, a friend from high school wow. on Facebook you see, you never know where. and said, Hey, my sister is interested in this building. Nice. Can you show her? I'm like, yeah, no problem. Yeah. That's a lead right there. Look at that. There you, you go. See? That's another lead source. Yeah. Um, I think also, you know, starting out as a new agent, the mm -hmm. best kind of lead source is start with your friends and your family. Because someone will know someone that knows someone that is selling or interested in buying. Yeah. No matter what. Yeah. So don't... The, the most important thing for me is, yeah. you know, uh, an advice for, for new agents. Mm -hmm. Don't be shy. Get, get out there, you know, and speak up, you know, yeah. like approach people. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have you to You need to put yourself out there what's the worst they can say no i'm not interested yeah and if they aren't at that point at that moment yeah no problem just uh, yeah. you can take their information come and back then, to them when they're ready that's right exactly but at least they know you're in the field now exactly so yeah man that, that, that's great that's great yeah don't be shy don't that's be the shy most important thing yeah don't be shy yeah i mean if you're shy in, in any kind of business uh i can you're losing out a lot too but damn Man, yeah. thank you, man. Thank you for your time thank over here. Thank you for here. having me. Yo, and, um, let's crush it in 2024. You know what I'm saying? Get close to, this. Uh, like and subscribe. I don't know where he's going to put the... Uh, <laughs> right here. Like and subscribe right here. Right here. Yes. Like and subscribe to It's Brian's World. It's and, Brian's uh, World. And the other channel, this channel right now, I put channel. it on is uh, Brian's TNGO. There you but, go. But, uh, yeah, if you guys want me to do a different kind of podcast, any kind of other information you like, put it down in the comment. You know, we, of course, we appreciate that. And, 
of course, doing these kind of content, we're not going to get paid. <laughs> but we're, we're, we're yeah. sharing our knowledge. We're sharing so the knowledge. only thing that to help us to see that you guys like these kind of stuff is by subscribing and like. That's it. That's all we're asking for, man. But right, I hope guys. you guys in 2024, all the agents, all the people out there, crush it, kill it. And uh, yeah, man, that, that, that's mostly it for 2024 today. is, is going to be the year. Yeah. What do you think about in 2024? 2024, it, it been, I'm just thinking about making a lot. It's been crazy thing. Yeah. Well, 2024 is, you know, the, the election is here. Yeah. This is the year of the election. Changing maybe a new president or having the same president. Yeah. I We don't know yet. But I feel like just starting of this beginning of this year been a crazy roller coaster A lot of things. Ride. A lot of things have been happening. So many things happening. Yeah. But, but that is like another topic, another day. Yes. Man. That, but hopefully we is, make lots of money this year. I wish you guys all the success. Yes. And keep working hard. Keep hustling. All right. Keep doing. Peace. Peace. <laughs> Thank you, man.